Yeah. Yeah. Uh. Hey yo man, it's your time. And fuck poverty. Get this money, man. This money, man. What the fuck you gotta do, you know what I'm saying? I can tell you're mad at me just by how your face look. What's up everybody? Is the Phil and Leroy Judgmental Podcast? You got Phil back in the house. And I'm Leroy. And who we got? We got a guest today, Phil. We got Jeff Baker in the house. Yeah, a third time champion, triple champ. <laughs> <laughs> so what's been going on, Jeff? Man, you know, man, same old, same old, just working away, you know, trying to stay out the way, stay, stay, just stay safe, man, out of this whole COVID mess. Mm-hmm. Now, how's Bill, um, I'll say Bill, how's business going? Because you own the Greyhound bus station at 208 East Bayfront Parkway in Airy, PA? Yes, sir. See, I, I don't own a building. I own the business. Uh, Greyhound rents, rents that building out uh, from the uh, the local bus company. Mm-hmm. So, um, I mean, business is okay. I mean, it, yes, of, of course, it, it could be better. But, uh, I mean, things are just, you know, crazy right now. This whole COVID mess, you know. Um, but I am enjoying the time off. So, Okay. So, business is still the same as you told us before. Yeah, man. Yeah. Oh. It's like it's like hit or miss some days. Okay. Yeah. So what's been going on with you, Phil? It ain't not much. Just holding down the fort, you know. All right. I got a problem. We got a problem today, Jeff, because uh <laughs> there's a see he's starting to laugh. There's a uh Philip Food story, but he told me don't say anything about it, but I'm <laughs> saying it now. So no, uh, well, 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 it's fu- it's it's funny be how you word things because you never word things right. What I said is you said you can't get Jeff because he was I guess running behind and he was trying to call him, and then I said, well, you starting this podcast early, you know, I never do him this early because I still have chores. So I said, well, I got chores to do, and then we were still trying to get him. I said, well, since we can't get him, that's what I was saying to. I said we don't have to do no food story, and then that's when you said, no, no, we're gonna do it. Well, all right, sir. Uh, Jeff, you know, Philip, he always got orders wrong, bad, bad waitresses, <laughs> mm-hmm. stuff uncooked. Mm-hmm. So here, here you go, Phil. Tell us your stop, story. Stop making up stuff. I got legit reasons <laughs> when I have issues. Stop fucking making it worse than what it is. Go ahead. All right. I went to Poppy's to get some breakfast sandwiches. Now, where is Poppy's? You, you got to tell us where Poppy's is. It's uh it's out here in Delaware County on uh Chester Pike, but it's like the only poppies in the in their neighborhood because you know we in the suburbs out here. It ain't like you got them on the corners in the hood. But uh, I went there to get breakfast sandwiches, and they really don't speak too good English. I think they are Dominican, but it's like uh maybe two out of the five that speak English. Okay, it's usually the uh, young lady that works at the register up front, and then there's one guy in the back. But when I went, a lot of times you go in there, they're not in there, and they kind of have a hard way of understanding but you know what i mean usually the ones can understand they usually take your order and everything runs smooth so when i went in there they remodeled and they put one of them uh touch pads screens like wawa so you can like pretty much make your own order you know what i'm talking about the keypad screen thing yeah yeah so uh i went there i was like all right just cool that way you ain't got to be struggling with the you know the voice barrier or whatever I got uh, three bacon, egg, and cheeses, pork bacon, and then I had extra bacon on each sandwich. Well, when it came out, it came out uh, three three pork uh, breakfast sandwiches, bacon, egg, and cheese with extra bacon, but it came out with beef bacon. <laughs> so I'm like, what is this beef bacon? She so the lady is telling me, and I'm talking to them, but they don't understand what I'm saying. So I said, all I did was hit extra bacon. I didn't have had the choice to hit whatever, whatever, you know what I mean? I didn't ask for beef I'm asking for a pork bacon sandwich so she's like yeah yeah you did it wrong this and that and I said alright well whatever you know what I mean I said and I want a side of bacon and uh I guess she thought I meant beef bacon again my whole thing is when you ask for just bacon pork should be the first one they give you no matter what if I don't ask for turkey bacon or I don't ask for beef then it should default to pork bacon since that costs less true but but my daughter she likes uh a side of bacon from Poppy's all the time. So they give you like six pieces for like $2 or something like that. And um, I get it all the time. This time, for some reason, they cook beef bacon. She don't really care too much for the beef bacon. 
You know what I mean? So that's kind of how they messed up. It was the, the word thing. Even when I clarified what I wanted to the, the lady at the front desk, they still messed up the order. You know what I mean? <laughs> and then on top of that, and, and on top of that, a young girl came in there. She wasn't that young. Uh, sister came in there with her dog. She put her dog on the counter. Her and the, the uh, lady behind the counter was having words back and forth. She said, you need to put your dog on the ground. I got food up here. And she had like uh, bananas pretzels and it was like the big open pretzel so the dog could have took a lick if he wanted a fucking pistol on him anything can happen <laughs> you know what i mean and then she had like uh muffins and stuff like all of this stuff was on the counter like right there where the dog was at so she was saying it's nasty you need to get the dog done she like no if i put my dog down it's easy to bite somebody you know what i mean if he's right here in front of me he can't bite nobody so they're going back and forth i'm like oh my god and uh she said, well, why didn't you just leave the dog home? She's like, you out of your fucking mind? Yeah. If I'm going out the house, then I'm bringing my dog with me. That's what the lady's saying. She was just straight nasty and just like arguing with her or whatever. And then when she left, that's when I said, uh, you need to put a sign on the door saying no pets allowed. As long that's as you don't right. have a sign like there, people want to bring them in here. Yep. So, Jeff, we got a double story. We got a Philip Food story and we got a new wave black people bringing their dogs in the store. So... <laughs> Uh, Philip, Philip, as you as you know, Mr. Baker, I'm starting to get worried about Philip because um, I think he's going to become one of these people right here. <laughs> What's taking so long? Come on, oh, hurry, fuck up! Oh, wait a minute, sir. I'm gonna ask you to step outside. I'm asking you to step outside. Nah, you gonna fix this shit first. <laughs> That's you. <laughs> <laughs> That's you. I'm actually stuck outside. Watch, watch this. So I'm gonna have to put hands on this bitch. Oh! Yeah, Come on, come on, come on. Y'all ain't gonna fix my shit. Y'all ain't gonna fix my shit, all right? <laughs> Y'all niggas gonna fix my shit. I'll get mine. Y'all niggas gonna fix my shit, all right? Fuck that, bitch. Fuck ass, huh? <laughs> so Don't be like that person. Damn, <laughs> all that for a damn sandwich, huh? Oh, what the hell? You ain't too far from it. I'm, I'm way here. from. <laughs> <laughs> even if, even though I have issues, I never complain in shop. I go to the fucking higher ups, the management. That's who I talk to. And get and get discounts and coupons. Exactly. So that's not the uh, same that, as this guy. This guy you, about to get a fucking arrest arrested <laughs> for some dumb shit. Me, I'm getting a free meal. Oh, he, he, he definitely going to jail for that. Mm-hmm. So as you see the title of the podcast, we're doing a, another sneakers episode. Now I don't know if it was you, Philip, but Jeff said that we should do one where it's up to date sneakers, new releases, either uh new releases that's coming out now or you know later, later in the year. Mm-hmm. So I, I kind of did that, but as looking on your Instagram and Twitter, Jeff, you already got like two of the sneakers I've already put up here. So uh, <laughs> One one of them, hold on, let me go. One of them, uh, you you put a picture up, but I don't think you have them yet. Is these right here? The uh, Anne Marie. No. Anne Marie is a store in uh, uh, Washington D.C. They collab with Nike with the Air Jordan Threes. Mm-hmm. Uh, comes these out. The, these not the sneakers that they said only uh, women can buy the first thousand pair or whatever. Oh, I yep. don't know. Oh, it is? Are them? Yeah, yeah. But it is that uh only the women can come in store and get them. Only women. But uh there is a general raffle for them. So uh they I mean men make men, men can buy them that way, but coming in the store, only women. Crazy. Okay, so uh two hundred dollars comes out April twenty third. Well, I like those Jordans anyway, so I'ma get those a good I'ma get those a eight. What did they do? Do we do a scale from one to ten or one to five? One to ten. Even... One to ten. All right. One to ten. All right. I give it an eight. Go ahead, Jeff. Um, they all right. I mean, they, I'll give it like a seven and a half or eight. Yeah, I, I, I see an eight. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, they they ain't bad, but they but they ain't the best. And here we got the Air Jordan Four Retros, North Carolina. Comes out April 28th, $225. 
ugly color, I'm going to give it a, a get ease of four. Phil? The sneaker itself, I like. So I'm going to get, so so it can't go lower than a five at best. So I'm going to go five. I don't like the blue and the, 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 the whole color scheme. But I just got a, a pair of these. But mine is like all gray all the way around. But you got the, um, the cool gray fours? I don't know all the nicknames and all that stuff. My my <laughs> wife got them for me. Is these Jones and they're like all gray? Yeah, probably the cool gray fours. What's your score, Jeff? A 10. Oh, wow. N- number one, the UNC color block or, or colorway um, it is my second favorite to, you know, the bread colorway. So um, fours, fours are dope. I mean, fours are, are dope depending on what colors on them. Um, yeah, I mean, you know, I mean, I, I'm a Jordan man, so I... I'm gonna be a little biased, but but not all the way biased. Cause some cause some of these Jordans, I'm like, oof, uh, they they can keep them. But uh, <laughs> but uh, but 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 these, I love these. I, I I can't wait for them to come out, man. I really can't. I like the sneaker. I just don't like the color pattern. Yeah, true. And, and plus these, the color pattern and the shoelaces. For some reason, these remind me of like house shoes. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it do. <laughs> Here we got the Air Jordan Retro, Air Jordan Eleven Retro Low Legend Blue, April twenty fourth, one hundred and eighty five dollars. I'm gonna get these. I'm also get. Uh, I'm gonna give them a seven and a half. Phil, I'm gonna give them a five. Ooh, why so low? I don't. I don't like low top Jordans. Mm-hmm. Right, I mean, yeah. the sneaker, the sneaker itself is not bad, but it had to be at least a quarter cut Jones, and they be all that. The low tops to me look a little goofy when it comes to Jordans. Hmm. Jeff, uh, give, I'm I'm gonna give these a nine. Um, in fact, I got these coming. They'll be here. I think either Monday or Tuesday. Why you have them so high? Uh. uh this this shoe alone is, is legendary. The high version of it is just legendary. Period. Um, I again, it's the it's the UNC colorway. You know, on the little bit that they have on the tongue, the icy blue bottoms. Um, it, it's definitely only only for summer. Only for summer, because I know me, I would tear that white up. So. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, and I like 11s. I, in fact, I love 11 lows just for summer, just just for summers and summer only. But, um, but yeah, I mean, I let, it's a Jordan 11. Jordan 11 is just an iconic silhouette. But um, not yeah, that low I, stuff. Yeah, I know there are a lot of people who don't like who don't like the 11 lows. I don't see nothing wrong with them. I mean, again, it, it depends on what color is on them, and uh, you know what color pat and what color pattern is on them because. Yeah, some of these they can keep them. All right. Next one we got the New Balance UL seven two zero SV one sixty five dollars. Uh, they came out recently, but I don't know what when they they're they're out though. I'm gonna get these. Uh, I got something similar like that upstairs, but it's different colors. So I'm gonna get these a good. I'm gonna give them a. I'm gonna give them a eight. I'm gonna go six, Jeff. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna give these about a seven, seven and a half. Now, I, my bad to cut you off, but when when I say uh, a seven or above, that means I will buy them and I will wear them. Anything lower than a seven, I wouldn't yeah. rock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those, those, I would rock. See, I, I would rock them. Yeah, mine's is uh, blue. Mine's where the uh, I guess that's red or burgundy. Mine's is blue inside of there and gray around it. Gray where the uh, the bottom of the sole where it got that little sky blue. Mine's mm-hmm. is gray around the sole. So it's the same pair, but it's a different color. I like how they look though. Not I I'm not too fan. I'm not a fan of this color though, but the sneaker itself is not bad. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. I'm I'm not a huge New Balance fan, but I know I already know new balances are, are very comfortable. So yeah. So here we go. We got the Nike 30th anniversary Hirachi Scream Green, April 29th, 
I like Harachi's big fan of them. I'll get these a nine because they're not bad. Phil? I like the way they look, but the only part about it I don't like is the sock at the the, the back of the hill. I don't yeah. like that part. If that was solid, I would like it more. So I'm going to go seven. Mm-hmm. I can rock them. You know what I mean? But, uh, yeah, they're not. That's the only part about the Harachis I don't like. Mm. Yeah, I give them. I give them about a seven. Uh, Harachis are very comfortable. Harachis are very comfortable. I, I I always say Harachis and Prestos are probably Nike's most comfortable shoes that they make. Um, I mean, I, I'm not a huge fan of the whole neon green and blue, but um, I mean, it's a it's a Harachi. I mean, you can never go wrong with them j- just from comfortability. So. Uh, we got the Nike Air Griffey Max One. Uh, it's a Air, it's a Air Griffey's, but they're for Jackie Robinson on Jackie Robinson Day. So instead of the twenty four, you see they have, they have the forty two, but it looks like it's in a mirror. So it's for Jackie Robinson Day, April twenty fourth, one hundred and seventy dollars. I like the uh, Air Griffey, so I'm gonna give these a nine. It's pretty much it's the same shoe except the forty two is looks like you know twenty four in a mirror. Go ahead, mm-hmm. Jeff. I see you shaking your head. I see you uh, had a uh, you you have a dark pair, right? You you had something for Jackie Robinson today on your Twitter. Um, oh, I had a Jackie Robinson hat. That's what oh, okay. Was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what it was. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I mean, a, a, a ten. I mean, I I love Griffey's. Griffey's are. I mean, Griffey's my second favorite baseball player. Uh, Frank Thomas being my first, but uh, they. I, that's one thing I have to give Nike uh, great credit for when it when 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 it comes to Griffey. They did Griffey right with his silhouettes because I can I can never really say that there's been an, an ugly Griffey shoe because all I mean majority of his shoes are dope. Uh, sidebar. Let me tell you this story, Jeff, about Phil. So we was in I don't remember what grade we was in, but we was all in collecting. Uh, I know he know where I'm going with this when I'm bringing it up. Uh, we was all in collecting cards, uh, baseball cards and all type of cards and, and, and stuff. So uh, one time we was always like looking at cards and trading each other cards and everything. This guy had he came here. He one time he came to me. He had like seven Barry Bonds rookie cards, seven. Of them. And don't you know, he wouldn't give me one of them. <laughs> <laughs> and so uh, you made me think of it because when you said Frank Thomas is your favorite baseball player, I had a Frank Thomas rookie card. This is when Frank Thomas, you know, was uh, yeah. And I had a Frank. Th- I was like, look, I give you Frank Thomas. I had Frank Thomas and I had Alonzo Mourning rookie card. He wouldn't give me that Barry Bonds card. Card. I'll never forget that. <laughs> <laughs> I, that that Barry Bonds card would been still sitting right in the closet because I still got the um, Frank Thomas and I got the uh, Alonzo Mourning rookie card. Wow. So so go ahead, Phil. <laughs> Give us your rate though to shoe. I like it. I remember being young, always wanting a pair of Griffey, so I'm gonna give it a nine. Okay, so would you buy these? Yeah. Well, go ahead, April 24th. I got enough sneaks, man. You and Jeff <laughs> emptying my pockets on sneakers now all of a sudden. I, I know you're gonna say that. That's why I'm gonna turn around and I keep buying more sneaks. <laughs> don't don't you know those uh those Thundercats. Oh, did they show up yet? No. Why you got them on the list? No, you said that uh, you ordered them and they said they didn't. They didn't show up. You, the Thundercats for your wife. You talking about yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, She never got them. It was stolen. They because they went to the post office and then it just never traveled. It sat there for probably like a month. You know when you look on your track and it just says it's sitting there. You know what I mean? Right. So they were stolen. So they reimbursed me. That's oh. damn. So you are you going to get another pair or? No, no, no. They gave me a new pair, and it came right away, too, like, the next day. Oh, okay. All right. How's she like them? She liked them. She said they were real comfortable. And she's into the Thundercats? No. She's not? No. I I, I used to be when I was a kid. Well, why would she want Thundercat sneakers? I just bought them. I didn't ask her, like, you, baby, you want these? I wanted them, but I wasn't going to buy them for myself. Oh, okay. see, I thought she liked Thundercats, so you had bought her some Thundercat sneakers. Who in today's Shoot, world like Thundercats? Those, those are dope. Those female ones. I, I wish those were male because I, because the girl I didn't get her the female. I'm like, what you I said those those are dope, and she said these are Thundercats. I'm like, what? <laughs> no, he he said he didn't get uh, the the female uh, Thundercats. Oh, you got the male ones? Yep. 
She got oh, little, wow. she got she got little feet. But um, uh, I didn't I didn't know they had females. I just saw them. I was like, oh, I'm gonna get these. And since she wear like Jordans and stuff, she don't usually get the female versions. So okay. yeah, well, you know, that female version is dope. It, it, it's a uh, light. It's a light brown. You know, it's like a. Uh, mm-hmm. It's like leopard. Uh, I don't think uh, I see. Did I see? I did see a leopard one. Maybe it's the one I saw. I don't know. I think I saw it after I ordered it. Yeah, it's dope. All right, we got the Nike Air Jordan 6, low day of the dead. It comes out October this year, $190. I like them. I'm going to give them um, eight. Jeff, I see you looking iffy. <laughs> mm. uh, I'm going to give like a six and a half or seven. And and sixes are my favorite, but mm, it's just some. I don't know. I like those colors. Yeah. 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 Like, I mean, the colors ain't bad, but mm-hmm, and there's just something missing. But I know once you once you get like real pictures, because I think I think this is a mock up. Mm-hmm. Hey, if I'm not if I'm not mistaken, I think I see Z Sneakerhead's signature right there. Yeah. So yeah. So so yeah. That, that that's probably a mock up. So who knows? They might come out with something better, or no no Jordan brand. They'll probably me- mess it up and come out with something worse. So. But yeah, six and a half or seven. I'm just not. I mean, I, I'm not impressed. <laughs> Go ahead, Phil. I like it. I give it an eight. Okay. Uh, I'm assuming it's since it's day to date. I'm assuming it's coming out on Halloween. Probably. All right. We got the uh, Nike Karth Car- Crater Crater Impact. A hundred dollars. I don't. I, I'm thinking they. I, they're out now. They just came out. Ugly. I will give them a three. Yeah, I'll say four. Yeah, and I'll say about three or four also. <laughs> oh, look at that soul. <laughs> yeah. That, and look, all that all that soul, when they make a soul like that, it's probably like recycled material. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, yeah, they can keep it. <laughs> All right, your favorite basketball player. We just mentioned him last week. We got the uh, Kevin Garnett Nike 14, April the 10th. No no price yet. Kevin Garnett? Well, I mean, Kevin Durant. I keep saying, every time I say Kevin Kevin Durant, I always think of Kevin Garnett. So I, I have no idea. So they're ugly, by the way. I'm going to give them also a three. Yep, a three. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm not impressed at all. All KD shoes, most of them are terrible, man. Mm. I don't know what they be thinking about when they be design, designing stuff like this. Yeah. All right, uh, Jeff, you already have them. The Reebok question, mid-13 Motorsports, April the 10th, $140. I don't like that silver in the bottom. So, yeah, I don't uh, know. It look like spray paint. Right, so I'm going to give it a six. I'm going to have to agree with a six. <laughs> Go ahead, Jeff. And, we already know you have a pair. So, yeah. So They don't look... So, in hand... You, you, okay, so, like, the upper and the toe... Um, that's... It's silver, but it's covered up with, a, with a, like, a plastic layer or something like that. So, in hand, it doesn't really look like that. So, you, you, you just have to have the shoe in hand. And I'm sure these are sitting in stores. Um, I was just, I was just able to get them under retail. You know, I think I paid like $98 or something like, so, um, yeah, I mean, I love them. I mean, I, I, I'll give them eight. Okay. If they have a better silver, then it, it can move the, the uh, score up because right here, this, this look a little crappy to me. Right. right. Yeah. yeah. Right. If you see him in hand, you'll be like, okay, I see what he means. It had like a little layer across it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it don't it, it don't look as bad in person. Okay. All right, now we have the Reebok answer for Flash, April the fifteenth, one hundred thirty dollars. Jeff, I already know you bought a pair, so uh, I don't really like these much. So I'm gonna get these of uh, four and a half. Go ahead, Phil. Yeah, I was never a fan of these either. I'm gonna go five. Yeah, uh, give me. Yeah, I, I give him an eight. In fact, <laughs> eight and a half. Wow. But yeah. I'm an Iverson fan too. I mean, I love Iverson, my 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 third favorite player in basketball. You know, that don't mean you got to sport ugly sneakers. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, 
no, no, no, no. I've I've always liked Irishes. Irishes are, 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 are very dope and and they're comfortable. So, all right, this is our last one. No, no, I got one more on the uh, on the internet page. These are the Verdes. Verde is a Japanese designer. Nike SB Dunk Low, Waste of Youth, April the sixth, one hundred and ten dollars. The Dunk Lows aren't bad. I don't like that that uh, jean type of material they have there. So I'm gonna give it a. I'm also get these a. I'm gonna give them a four. Floyd Phil. I'll give them a five. Jeff, I see you shaking your head, so it's gonna be low. Wait a minute. So they they call these the what? The waste uh, of youth. Uh yeah, Nike SB Dunk Low Waste of Youth. They they should call wasted material because these are trash. <laughs> 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 I give I give a two or three at the most because I'm not impressed. I'm not impressed at all. I, I I'm, I'm not a huge dunk fan anyway. But but this this right here is not the business. I, and but 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 Nike knows exactly what they're doing. They know that some of these people are just hype beasts and they'll just buy anything. Mm-hmm. Right. So uh, since you said something about ugly Jordans, I got one for you. <laughs> uh. Here's the Air Jordan 35 Smoke Gray. <laughs> I don't know what type. This must be like year 3000 shoes or something. I'm going to get these a <laughs> Jordan. I'm going to get them a two. A damn space boot. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to give it a, a, a three. Yeah, yeah. It, between between what y'all said, two and three. Because, yeah, I'm not impressed with them at all. I, I, seen, I seen a couple players with those on. I'm like, they still ugly. So just right here on the uh, in the middle of the shoe on the bottom is that an air pocket? I'm not even sure. That's supposed to be a bubble. Yeah, that's what it look. And but what is that under those lines and stuff? And you see those lines underneath there? I wish I could. Can I zoom in? I don't think I could zoom in. But yeah, it's got those those little lines or something inside of there. I don't know what mm-hmm. these people be thinking about when they be designing sneakers. <laughs> Well, it comes out April 29th for $175. And look at those. April 29th, too. Look at those prices on StockX. You got to be kidding. Who's actually buying that? Man, people just be buying anything. Uh, Like you said, they'll buy it and see if they can resell it. Yeah, man, I swear. Look, one thing thing I hate about the sneaker game now that is pissing me off to the fullest. Is these is these little punk ass kids who sit up here and they buy shoes or or, or they or or they, they bought the websites and all, all that other bullshit just just so they can go out here and resell. Like man, if you don't sit your little pimple face ass down somewhere so I can get a pair of shoes and put them on my damn feet. Uh, like the hey. kid, like the kid who mom worked for Nike. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and she trying to act like she didn't have nothing to do with that, please. He was buying yeah. the stuff with with her credit card. Look exactly. Half of you knew. You knew, and and and, and I bet you, I I I, I can one hundred one million percent guarantee she was getting a cut from that. I I oh, can yeah. one hundred. You know, you know mm-hmm. she, you know yep. she was. She ain't fooling nobody. Oh, I didn't know my son. Yeah, but your son sitting up here on Instagram with about two thousand boxes of shoes on y'all back patio. Exactly. <laughs> right. And like she didn't see anything. Well, yeah. she, she quote unquote lost her job, but at the end of the day, she be all right. Yeah, yeah, she about, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, she resigned. No, nah, she didn't resign. I have to go fight. You're right. Yeah, she be all right. Did you hear about that, fool? Yeah, I heard about it. Mm-hmm. You, I think yeah, you man. sent me the link. Yeah, and so thanks for people like that is the reason why we can't get a damn Xbox. But oh. uh, Jeff, I see Jeff got the show. Did you, uh, the show uh, uh, 21, How how do you like it? Man, I, 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 I've been playing the show since 2012. So, and see, as you can see, I got it on pause right now. So, <laughs> as soon as I'm done, look, that, look, that's why I almost forgot. I almost forgot about the uh, podcast. I'm sitting here playing the game. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I yeah. see you was you was you was tweeting and everything. Right. So, uh, uh, well, yeah. here's here's okay. speaking of sneakers. Here's something I want to bring up with you. Now, is is that pink right here with a Nike yes. sign and underneath? 
The uh, yes. the uh, Nike shoes. Yeah. Mhm. That's pink. Oh, they, see that make the sneakers look ugly with the uh the tongue and the air pocket. Oh, 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 oh! You talking about where the brown is? Yeah. Is that pink? Uh... In, in, inside the air pocket is pink, and then you yeah. got the swoosh that's pink, and then you got the tongue. Yeah, and the back with the Nike Air symbol is pink. Yeah. Yeah, that throws the shoe off. These are uh, Air Max 90 bacon. Uh, is that supposed to look like bacon to paint? Is the paint supposed to be the bacon? Uh, I, I was shocked. Nike gave me them, man. How? Huh? How? Or are you trying to uh, keep that a secret? Well, <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh no, no, no! I put it, I, I put it all over Twitter. Nike, Nike gave gave me them shoes. They uh, they they told me, you know, they um hit me up on on one of one of, of the tweets and said, uh, we like what you've been doing. Um, hit our DM. We may we may have something crispy for you. Next thing you know, they sent me a uh, they they sent me these. Okay, for free. I uh, I would take them, but I don't know if I would wear it. <laughs> yeah, I didn't, I didn't for them personally myself. I didn't because because I said I said okay, they're they're okay, but I can't see myself dropping. I think it was like a hundred seventy or hundred eighty dollars. And I'm like, nah, give give me the Air Max ninety price, which is like one thirty, one forty. Right. So so what about you, Phil? Three free? Would you wear them? I'll take them, but I won't wear them. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm one of them dudes that don't wear pink. Uh, yeah, look, you can see uh, right next to the uh, bacon pick with your Air Jordan ones. You talking about? No, 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 no. The uh, oh, bacon oh, pick, the bits and all that stuff next. Yeah. Bits on you? Oh, hold on, I'll bring it up. Yeah, that's a card that they sent me. An air freshener, a bacon air freshener, and bacon bits. And the mm-hmm. card right here. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, just from tweeting, you can get some free shit. Well, we tweet. Give us something for free, <laughs> Nike. <laughs> <laughs> give me a, give me a damn. Give us a free Xbox. Don't you want one, Phil? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> give us something. <laughs> now, these, but, hey, now, but but I got a question. Who want their car smelling like bacon? Look, and and, and you know what? <laughs> I love. I love that they sent me that whatnot, but yeah, it ain't happening. <laughs> <laughs> well, shit, you, you in the same boat we are we in too. Like, look, they gave it to me, thank you, but ain't no way I'm putting that shit on my feet. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, the shoes will definitely go on my feet, but that air freshener, uh, uh-uh, uh, no, no, that thing stinks bad. And your uh, Nike Air Jordan One, black, black, mid black. Gem red, I like mm-hmm. those too. Yeah, I like them. Yeah, look, these are starting to be well, ain't no starting. These are a problem. Ever since the, like, like, like the yeah, last year, these have become a problem. They get mids or lows. Nobody wore mids now, everybody wearing mids. I true. wore mids before I wore highs, so yeah, true. I, I'm like, okay, but well, when the hell did everybody start wearing mids? Mm-hmm. But no. People are reselling them. Yep. Terrible, man. Just, just terrible. I'm just like, man. You know, I understood the, you know, the hyper royals today, you know, selling out because everybody wanted them. But I try to get a pair of mids from somewhere, and they were like, no, no, we're all sold out. And come to find out, one of the employees told me, oh yeah, uh, we had a guy. He came in here and he bought, he bought like 15 pairs. I'm like, wait a minute, why are y'all even letting them buy 15 pairs? Exactly, right. Oh, yeah, did you see, yeah. did you see that uh World Star clip? Uh, the guys buying all them uh had all them bags in the shoe store. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Man, you know he's a reseller. Yep. I'm like, man. See, this is what I'm talking about. This goes to show that you know Nike Nike can sit up there and 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 try to try to control it online with you know. Cause now everything's everything's a draw, everything's a raffle now on, on on the sneakers app. So there is no more of you know bots trying to get in and buy up everything. Now mm-hmm. now everything's a draw, and uh, but they can't control 
what these folks do in the stores. Right. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah, that's ridiculous. And they should uh, they should put a stop to it. Well, they can, but they just choose not to. Yeah, you're right. They choose not to. Mm-hmm. Well, all right, Jeff. Uh, what's all your social media? Um, hit me up on Twitter. Uh, His Excellence seventy nine, and on Instagram Throne of Excellence. No, um, I'm on there probably almost every day. For some reason, I am on Twitter way more than I am on Instagram. It, a year ago, before. I'll probably say a year ago, a year and a month ago, it was not like that. I always stayed on, on Instagram. But now, ever since the whole last dance and everything, you know, last year I started, I started, I, I had Twitter in 2009 and I never really used it. I had like 47 followers last year. I got over 1,200 followers now. I'm like, come on, man. Uh, and see, I, for real, I'm, I'm, I'm a person, you know, I post my shoes, you know, and, and you know, have fun with it or whatnot. But I'm I'm not a person who likes all the all the attention and all that. Y'all y'all can keep that, you know. Just leave me alone. I just want I just want to get paid, get my money, and and you know have fun. You know that, that that's fine. But all the all the extra glitz and glamour, they can keep that mess. I'm I'm serious. I'm so serious. I deal with people every single day. So that's the last thing I want really, really want to do. You know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like for real. <laughs> so uh, okay, you like sneakers and you like playing video games. What else you like to do on your spare time? Um, for people, I mean, a lot of people don't, don't even know this. I still go to Narcotics Anonymous meetings. You know, um, um, I I have no shame in uh in saying that you know I'm I'm in recovery. Because as you can see, why would that be? Sh- why would why would it be shameful? Well, it's because some people, some people, they they don't want to say that. They don't want to say, hey, you know, I have a drug problem, or, or 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 I've had a drug problem. Me, I'm like, look, I I I had a drug problem, and I'm still dealing with it even after 13 years. No, I have not picked up a drug or alcohol in 13 years, but it's not about just the drug and alcohol. That the drugs and alcohol is 80, is 20 percent of the problem. It's that other 80% bullshit that, that comes with me. So, and man, to watch one of my favorite, favorite rappers to go out the way he did because of drugs and alcohol, to watch DMX just die like that. Well, the, the guy, uh, DJ Vlad, said that um, he really did have the COVID. And that's when, that's why, he, he said people told him, People close to DMX told him that he had the COVID and that's why he was hospitalized. He he wanted to go on tour and all that stuff again, and he got sick. So we don't know now. If, but see, now what I heard, what I heard is the family said that he got sick after getting the COVID vaccine. Yeah, I heard that one too. But then I heard they said that that was false. So it's like three different stories. Now yeah, we're talking who, who about knows? <laughs> we got right. a drug, we got a drug overdose, we got an illness from getting the COVID vaccine, and DJ Vlad said the people told him that he had the COVID, and that's why he was hospitalized. So I don't know. So I, I asked Philip what was his five favorite DMX songs last week. So what's your fa- five favorite? Because D- see, I wasn't really a fan of DMX like that. The only song I really liked was uh, "Get At Me, Dog" and "Rough Riders <laughs> Anthem." I, I didn't even know he did a song with uh, Cannabis and 8-Ball, and the song was actually good. See, I like 8-Ball back in the day. On oh, whose album? Is that on 8-Ball's album or uh, Cannabis? I, I don't know. It wasn't on Cannabis' album, so it must be on 8-Ball. It might have been a remix or something. You know how they used to do back in the day? You used to have remixes but never released them. I've never mm. heard it before until uh, I saw someone post it, and the song wasn't bad. But the only two songs I like was Rough Rider the Anthem and Get At Me Dog. So what's your five favorite DMX songs? Um, definitely look, here here's here's my story with DMX. So I'm living in Chicago. I had just got I had just got kicked out, kicked out of the Marine Corps. I wasn't even out a week. My mom was like, Look, I'm gonna send you to Chicago and you, you can go out there and take care of business. So I'm out there. I, I'm not taking care of business. I'm getting high, running the streets, act, acting a fool. But every time I would come in the house and I would watch Rap City, they are playing this song called Get At Me, Dog. I'm like, man, who the hell is this nigga? I'm tired of him. I, every, every time I come Rap City, y'all playing this song, Get At Me, Dog. Get At Me, Dog. I'm like, yo. So one day, 
I had just got done smoking weed, came in the house, did my regular two o'clock. It was Jerry Springer always. And then, <laughs> and then, and then Rap City was at four o'clock. So mm-hmm. again, here we go. Yeah, you know, I think who was I think I think I think it was, it was Big Tigger or I yeah, I think it was Big Tigger who was hosting it then. He was like, Yeah, you know, we're about to play Get At Me Dog. I'm like, man, all right. So my uncle, he had these two big speakers. So I'm six foot. These speakers are the size of me. I said, you know what? Every time I hear this song, I, I never listen to it without, you know, without any bass or anything. It's, it's just the, the damn TV volume. So I turn it up and I and I put on my uncle's speakers, and I swear, I, I was like, man, I'm like, this is one, this is one of the dopest beats I ever heard in my life. I said, this, this is how this is, this is good. This is very good. But then I didn't even notice because. I didn't know that before get, get at me, dog. I didn't pay attention to DMX. But I had the May CD, I had the Lock CD. DMX is on both of the both of their CDs. Yeah. And I, I just I just was like, okay, yeah, whoever I know, I know I, I know Mace, I know Locks, I know Lil Kim, I know Puff, I know Big. I'm like, I, I don't care who knows DMX is. DMX became one of one of my favorite rappers because I watched so many interviews of DMX, and DMX is just so real. Like there is no filter. Like you know, he, he might he might get out of hand a little bit, but his filter, you know, he doesn't have no filter. But he he speaks the truth, and that's that's what that's what a lot of these industry cats, these industry rappers, they don't do that. They, they'll sit there and make it look like it's all glitz and glamorous and all that. Dmx is showing like, look, hey, I'm messed up. I'm not look like I'm, I, you know, yeah, I've been in, been in and out of jail. Yeah. I'm like. Yo, man, like, yo, like, th- that's me too. I have a drug problem, you know? So, um, Get At Me Dog is definitely, uh, probably, probably number one. Um, how's it going down? Love it because, uh, <laughs> a-, a lot of the women loved it back then. Um, niggas done started something with him, the locks, and Jay Z. One of them was hype. Man, wasn't it? Man, that song right there. I, I, I and I, I think who else is on there? Uh, was Mace on there too? I think Mace was on there. And that song is just, yo, they 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 murdered that song. Um, oh, <laughs> I have a video of me at the DMX concert, and I'm like where I'm at and where my TV is. That's where DMX is standing the whole concert. So, yeah, I, I seen it. When when was it? When was that video? Um, the video. Well, the, the concert was actually in 2019, but oh. I have so many different videos from that concert. But uh, <laughs> so he started singing uh, "What These Bitches Want from a Nigga," <laughs> and I knew every last girl's name when he was naming off every <laughs> last girl. man. That's uh, that right there, I re- I probably repeated that song probably thousands and thousands of times because I used to because when I was out there on the street, you know, it was all all about you know trying to impress the women and all that, and you know I'd be talking shit to women and all that. But uh, you know, I've grown out of all that. But yeah, I know every last every last man. I used to love 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 that song. Um, number five, whew. man, there's just so many. Um. I I can't even oh slipping that's what it is slipping 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 is just a deep song man like shh. slipping is just I mean he talks about his whole life and you know what he went through and, and whatnot and you know some of that stuff I can relate to so um yeah man that's another song that, ever, that's on repeat. I was gonna say, did you ever read his book? No, no, I, I didn't. It was, like, it was like a, uh, it was like an autobiography or something. Mm-hmm. It was a little thick. I read that. I read that years ago. It was real good. It was talking about uh, the way he came up and how he used to rob drug dealers and all this stuff. It was, a, it was a decent. It was a decent book. And the same thing we always say, Roy. I let somebody hold and never got it back. Mm-hmm. That's just the story of our lives. Letting people hold shit and then you forget that they yeah. forgot that they got it. <laughs> Especially like, and, and, and I think somebody in the military because the way the military works is if you let somebody else hold it and you get to talking about it, somebody be like, oh shit, can I can I check it out? Next thing you know, you didn't pass it around to everybody. You forgot who last had it. Yep. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. That, that, that was a good joint. If you ever get a chance, you know what I mean. Download that joint or 
go to a bookstore and buy that John. Check it out. I so, watched the uh I watched the Rough Riders Chronicles and you know he was talking he was talking about some of that stuff from there, man. Like like deep. Like I was just like, wow. Uh, oh, okay. Now the Rough Riders Chronicle. Now, do you believe DMX when he said that uh that uh DMY told him that he would be what a part owner or a half owner of Rough Riders and they mm-hmm. denied it. I believe him. I, I kind of believe that he did. They did say that. They probably did, but they probably told him that at a time where he probably messed up in the head, higher drunk, and they probably said, Oh, he'll he'll forget about that. But yeah. Uh-huh. And, and that nigga didn't forget. Right. <laughs> and that's what it was. <laughs> Right, because he was the first artist and a breadwinner, so you know they probably said that. Like, yeah, we'll give you twenty five percent or something of percentage. So, like you said, he probably was all high or whatever, and they said, "Oh, he ain't gonna remember that tomorrow," but nope. he he remembered it. Yep. That's right. He, look, mm-hmm. look, look, the man, look, the man said he had to get it any any which way he could, and if, if that was robbing somebody, you know, j- jacking somebody, he was doing it, and yep. so he he he's not gonna forget about his money. The mm-hmm. man is not gonna money so yeah man but i i just hate I, I just hate that you know that that man died because like i, I what i don't know if if i ever watched uh the breakfast club or what like watch his first two interviews you know that he does i think one of them like 2006 or seven or something like that the other one was like 2012 man those are some funny interviews but it is so like like he's so real with it just like he's he's so real with it man and i love i love it and philip i think you mentioned the same uh did you mention the same five songs as is jeff last week i think i only gave you four but uh Uh, i think i said the four that four of his the same ones he said yeah yeah i thought so because i was when he was saying the songs i'm like well damn that's the same songs that, that that phil said Mm-hmm. They was just like the they was like the first pop of my head, you know what I mean? But like you said, there's so many out there that I like. So many. Yeah, like like I like I bet you I bet you if if I if I really sat down and, and probably look at his list, I'd be like, you know what, we're gonna rearrange the order of top five songs. Exactly. That's how I felt so too. And I those are the first five that uh I could think of. But a couple of those are definitely would definitely stay in that list. Like slipping and uh what these bitches want. Yeah, those would definitely stay in that list. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh, I also like the um, Get At Me Dog remix with him and the locks, but I think that was just a mixtape song. They they call it a freestyle, but it was pretty much a song. So yeah, I, I, like I didn't know. I, oh, you heard? I didn't know. I didn't want yep, to include heard. that. I didn't want to include that when I just said Get At Me Dog and, and Rough Riders Anthem because that was supposed to be just a freestyle. Yeah, I, I know there's a Rough Riders Anthem remix, and it's dope. That's the one with Eve is on, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Oh damn! How did I get forget the song with um uh the uh what was the song where they used the headbanger beat? Was that the locks? It was a Rough Riders compilation album. How in the hell did I forget that? Uh, what's it called? Hold on, let me see if I can find it on here. They used the he- headbangers uh beat. Uh, DMX, The Locks, Drag On, Eve is on there. Hold on. Uh, Rough Riders. Is that what it's called? Rough Riders? The Rough Riders? The, 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 That's the Rough Riders first. Anthem, right? No, not the Rough Riders Anthem. Hold on. Ride or Die. That's what it is. Okay. Uh, y'all heard it before, right? Yeah, I heard it before. The very first song on that CD? Say it again. You, you talk about the very first song on that CD? I don't remember the CD. I just remember the song. They used the head, EPMD Headbangers uh, uh, instrumental. Oh, I'll play it for you. I'll play it for you. How could I forget about that song? Yeah, man. Yeah. So, yeah, that, that is the first song on the on the Rough Riders compilation volume one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that yeah. Was a, so, so it was three DMX songs I liked. And, well, yeah, actually, four, actually four, if you, you want to count that... Um, that uh get at me dog freestyle yeah yeah i mean and then uh yeah i mean and just with the the uh you know the features he made jay-z money cash hoes um well um he did a song with dipset 
what's the name of that song? Um, what's really good? You know, uh, 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 who who's on his Dipset song? Uh, what the, the the name of the song is called "What's Really Good." But is it just Cameron and Cameron Jewels? Uh, I think I think it's Cameron Jewels and Jim. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I don't even remember them getting together for a song. Yeah, I don't remember that either. Yeah, the song wasn't bad. I've I've never heard that song before. What? Man, this is it. this is diplomatic immunity, right? Yeah. It don't sound familiar to me either. Say, say it again. What you say, Phil? I said it don't sound familiar to me. Yeah. We could do yeah. a cam- we could do a Cameron episode, but that'll take like five hours. <laughs> what happened, Cameron? Yeah, we could do a Cameron a, a podcast episode, but that'll take five hours to do. <laughs> I, I, I like him. You know, he's from, uh, he used to hang over there in, in, in my neck of the woods on the west side of Chicago. I'm like, he, what? Yeah, he talked about that on, on uh, Drink Champs, uh, that oh, he lived in Chicago. I, was, I watched like 15 minutes of Drink Champs uh, 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 with, with Cam, but I sat down and watched the whole two hours of DMX Drink Champs. Man. Just, I love it. I loved it. But uh, yeah, I, you know what? I, I I think I might sit back and watch Cam's because uh, I I want to hear what Cam got to say. I I know I, I watched about fifteen minutes of it, and he was talking about the you know the relationship that between him, J- Jay and Dame and all them. Yeah. And I, yeah. Yeah. And uh, Petey Crack, Petey Crack called yeah. in. Yeah, that part too. And uh, he talked about the um. He talked about living in Chicago and all that stuff because they was like because he linked up with R. Kelly and he was asking him like, well, how do y'all get together? He's like, because I lived in Chicago. And they was like surprised mm-hmm. that he lived in Chicago, Chicago, Ohio. The guy just moved around. Yeah. 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 I know he was he was when he the, he said he said he said Pulaski, West Side Chicago. I'm like, what does he know about over there? I'm like. That's not a place to be, you know, sightseeing. That that's for damn sure. So, I'm like, what, that, what does he know about over there? But yeah, but yeah, he, he he had talked about it somewhere else too. You know, um, you know, he he used to live. I'm like, why he picked the West Side though? My like, gosh, yeah, that's not a this side we living on. Hmm. I think the only reason why he went on there was the uh, oh I'm not gonna give it away you just gonna have to see it see it yourself yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. look is, is that is I got a question is that the same show where he was talking about rolling on Fishburn yes yeah he okay. talked about that story well he talked about that before but he went in depth yes that's the same one okay. <laughs> that's a, is it, well it's like three hours so it's a it is a good episode okay good yeah 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 I. I Sometimes I sit down and watch some uh, of uh, Noriega's uh, uh, drink champs. Them and uh, uh, y- your boys from y'all from y'all neck of the woods, Gilly and uh, uh, Wallow, they goofy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I watch that sometimes. Yeah, you blanked out on us. Yeah, I'm on my phone and, and somebody's calling in. I'm, yeah. But yeah, um, but yeah, uh, sometimes I sit down and watch some of. Um, uh, your boy from y'all neck of the woods, uh, um, Gilly and uh, Wallow, with they crazy selves. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, I look at it. it. It depends with the guests. The same thing with, with Noriega. It depends what guests are on there is when I watch it. I don't exactly. watch every episode. No, 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 no. Like, I watch uh, Willie, I mean, uh, 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 Gilly and Wallow because they had Kiss on there. Yeah. Well, well, let, let's uh, end the show because we'll be having a music conversation for <laughs> we'll be we'll be talking about music for three hours and Philip already about falling asleep. Look, he's yawning and all that stuff. He about ready mm-hmm. to fall asleep already. <laughs> Man, I got shit to do. <laughs> well, you can reach us on Twitter and Facebook at PNL Judgmentals, Instagram at the two underscores judgmentals, or you can email us at PNL Judgmentals at gmail.com. Jeff, I appreciate you you coming back on with us again, the, the Triple Crown champ. <laughs> yeah, man, look, man, I thank y'all for having me, man. Look, anytime, anytime, hit me up, let me know. All right. Well, all right, Phil. All right, y'all. All right, Jeff, thanks. Yeah. All right, y'all. Right, hey, yo, man, it's your time. And fuck poverty. Get this money, man. 
fuck you gotta do, you know what I'm saying? I can tell you're mad at me just by how your face look. You can check the status on my level, not my Facebook. Comments on my photos, that's why I stay on the low low. Most of y'all is associates, so I be on my dolo. Hold up, whoa, whoa, hold the f-